Hello, I'm the CEO of Dark Souls Incorporated, and I'm here to tell you the secret to my success. I used to be just like you, trudging away in the ruthless world of Dark Souls, trying to make a name for myself. Then one day, it hit me! I needed to work smarter, not harder, so I decided to make the world of Dark Souls work for me, and founded Dark Souls Incorporated. Following my secret business model for success, you'll earn more souls than the Firekeeper will know what to do with. So without further ado, let's begin! First thing you'll want to do when starting your own business is to make sure to hide all of your assets, and to be as inconspicuous as possible. We don't want the government taxing our souls now, do we? <laughs> Step two will be to hire in the president of the company, someone who's willing to put their career on the line for you on the journey to your success, an almost equal partnership. Now it's time to hire some employees. These busy little bees are going to earn you all of your souls. So rather than comb through countless resumes, simply extend an open invitation to any and all willing workers to your new business. It's important for your employees to have plenty of work to do and for you to facilitate a proper work environment for them as well. Phew, well that sure was a lot of hard work. Now it's time for you to take your position as CEO of the company. But while making sure to enjoy a well-deserved break, remember, have an open-door policy. You wouldn't want your employees to feel that you're the unapproachable type of boss. <laughs> it's important to make sure that your employees feel compensated for the work they do, so you'll need to make sure to hire in an HR and payroll manager. Thankfully, there are plenty of eager and willing potential candidates for this position. While the HR manager's job is to keep your employees happy and avoiding sexual harassment lawsuits, sometimes their job as payroll manager is more critical at the time. But don't worry, like I said before, plenty of young souls will come flocking to your new business. On-site accidents are expected, but don't worry, because any good business person knows you may lose an employee, but you'll collect that sweet, sweet life insurance policy. <laughs> Whoops! Looks like John was a little too careless that time. <laughs> On occasion, things will get a little unstable around the workplace. This is where your president comes in. It's his job to deflect any and all backlash that may fall onto you, and to prevent any uprisings from within the ranks. If a dispute does take place and your president is forced to leave the company, simply give them a new title and position with the same role and salary. Why, hello there, chief executive Stug. Sometimes an employee may decide that they're just not a right fit for your company. And that's okay, because once you've reached this level of success, it's only a matter of time before someone else takes their place. And if your HR manager decides that they'd like to pursue a different career path as well, then that's just fine. Make sure to send them a notice of appreciation when they hand in their two weeks. Who knows, maybe someone even better will come along in the future. That's the spirit, muck. What the f***? That's the spirit? Looks like someone's on the fast track to promotion. But even a CEO isn't above doing a bit of manual labor. Sometimes your employees will make mistakes and miss things, and that's okay. They're only human after all, so be prepared to do a bit of cleanup yourself. Well, that's all the time we have here today. If you'd like to learn more, go ahead and click the link below to buy my book, How I Made Two Million Souls in Just Two Hours. And who knows, maybe you'll make a company great enough to rival my own.